this is the final result of the tutorial but what you are actually gonna learn from this tutorial are at first we will create this abstract cube structure from a single plane in geometry node and animate it then we will mask a plane having three different color on it over the top of the cubes so that whenever the upper face of the cubes touches the plane it's emit the color what you have assigned to the plane this will done in materials property so let's start on our channel think sci-fi select the cube go to geometry node then click new then remove group out input add a grid by pressing shift a increase its size and vertex click this pin icon so that the geometry node do not get disappear then add a solidify then smooth then connect separate geometry in between and select face on it go to wireframe view then add join geometry add random value and select boolean and connect it with separate geometry selection we will add more subdivision surface to the area which are looking empty on the plane for that add a subdivision subdivision mesh then connect it with inverted of separate mesh and also with join geometry this will add geometry to the empty parts you can see it in solid view select all the node except grid and group output then press Control G to group them. Here we will connect probability of random value to the group input and group output so that we can control it from outside. We will also add seed to the group input. Then we will add math node and connect it with group input seed. Then connect it with group output. This math node will help in adding more randomness to the seeds. You can come out from this group by pressing tab key. Play with prob probability and we will make four more duplicates of it by pressing shift d and then we will connect all the point with each other one by one and then we will play with the seed value by pressing this you can go inside the group and by pressing this arrow key you can come out of the group or you can also press tab key after that we will add separate edge node this will separate each faces of the plane into a individual faces after that we will add extrude mesh node this will extrude all the plane into a shape of cube after extrude mesh we will add scale element when you play with the scale value you can see that each of the faces are getting affected equally now we will connect the top from the extrude mesh to the selection of scale element and you can see it clearly that now the scale is only affecting the top part so we will reduce it little bit we will control the offset scale value of extrude mesh by noise texture so connect the noise texture and play with its value This motion look best when we play with distortion. So we will use it to add animation. But first add map range in between and play with its values. Now connect value node to the distortion of noise texture and type hashtag frame in the value. Now when you press space bar it seems very fast to control it add a math node in between and select divide on it and increase the value if you want to make the animation slower. I want to add wireframe around each and every cubes for that add join geometry at last then add mesh to curve and connect it with scale element then join geometry 
this will add a curve line around all the cubes then add curve to mesh after mesh to curve then one more node quadrilateral and connect it with profile curve of curve to mesh then reduce its width and height to 0.01 now the wireframe is ready and also it is moving according to its cube shape we will add two set material first between scale element and joint geometry for applying material to the cubes then between curve to mesh and joint geometry to add material to the wireframe go to the material property and select the same material name what you are seeing here in the first set material then again go to material property and add a new material by pressing plus icon give it a name of wireframe and select it on the second set material after that go to the setting tab then select slot 1 because we will apply material to the cube first increase material and specular then connect color wrap to the base material and decrease the color of white part to the gray side and connect noise texture to the color wrap and play with its values then connect bump node to the normals of principal bsdf and with color wrap connect mix shader in between material output and principal bsdf after that again go to geometry node then add a plane to the 3d viewport by pressing shift a press 3 for the side view and move the plane one in the z location if you want to increase the height of the cubes you can play with the map range anytime scale the plane according to the size of of the scene drag the plane into the geometry node then add geometry proximate and connect it with object info geometry to target of geometry proximity and then connect proximity distance with group output then go to modifiers property open output attribute in geometry node and give a name mask in distance then again go to the setting tab select both the color wrap and principal bsdf make a duplicate of it by pressing shift d and connect it with mix shader add as many as color colors whatever you want in the color wrap but i am choosing only three select constant in color wrap after that add a attribute node by pressing shift a and connect it with and connect its factor to the mix shader factor then type the same name what you have typed in the geometry node distance in the attribute name the entire cube under it becomes green to control it we have to connect a color wrap flip the color wrap and play with its black portion connect gradient texture to the colorful color wrap and select diagonal in gradient gradient texture connect the color wrap to the emission of principal bsdf and increase the emission strength nothing is happening because we have forgotten one step in geometry node for that go to the geometry node and select relative in object info that's it your work has done now you can able to see the effect to know completely about this tutorial lighting texture volumetric and all join me on patreon you will get the complete tutorial over there thank you very much for watching